Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV, Jenny, JD, and Erin. Back with more BTS. Yay! Uh, so, I just think I've rewatched the ones we watched the last time we were together. So, uh, on. <laughs> Have you recovered? For research purposes. Yeah, of course, oh, sure. of course. Strictly scientific research. Mm -hmm. Have you recovered? Yes, I'm able to focus a little <laughs> bit more. I watched a bit more of the lyrics. You have speech back, well, welcome. I can speak, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to stick with a two bias rule. Okay. Otherwise, I'm, I'm going to be all over the place. It's stressing me out. Can we please oh, have no. that, like, written down somewhere? Because I know that's going to change. <laughs> well, Not because is... I know what they're going to do, but I just know her. <laughs> This is the thing. You see, this is army knows. Like you, you literally never write any of the any of the guys out, any of the members. You never write them off. They could come for you. So, the worst thing you can do to yourself is Limit restrict yourself, yourself yeah. and be like, "This is the only bias. That's it." And lo it's a it's a rookie army move. Like seasoned <laughs> army know. We're like, that's rookie move. Like you just don't know who's going to come for you. So, yeah. I mean, Kat even fun. said to me when I went from JK to Sugar, she said, "Do you think you picked too quickly?" Mm. So, which maybe I did, but to be, that fair, again. to be fair, watch those videos back and tell me that JK isn't just... No, yeah. absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. But that's it, it was the first one that hit you, and it was like, oh yeah. my goodness, but then, of course, it takes up the lobby. And like I said, when, when you have the homework and you start looking at the other members, and you, you sometimes you do, you need to actively concentrate yeah. not to be attacked by the one um, that initially caught your eye, but when you start looking at the other members, you just it just opens up a whole... And like I said, I feel like... I don't know whether that's going to continue in videos or not, but JK is often front and centre in a dance routine. Yes. So mm. visually, you're often, your eyes drawn to him yeah. first. Mm -hmm. I do think it's fun though when you watch the others that maybe aren't at the front, the bits they're doing, because that's when you get like, the often does like the little bits, is it in more hormone? I love yeah, facial expressions. Always. And it's just like, and it's fun. Even like with the, the backup dance as well, mm. occasionally try to just watch this because you do get these like little golden nuggets and bits that you would miss if you yeah. just watch. In on is. when Jimin's at the front and V is at the back with his like saucy tongue looking, getting all like risque, and I'm just like, oh my goodness. So yeah, I it's think true. Like facially, I said, rewatch them and you never know yeah. what you're going to see. V pulls the best faces. He's a very good performer. He's always on point. And again, War of Hormone, the faces he pulls in that all the way through it. Every time he comes at the camera, <laughs> even in Life Goes On, when okay, he's yeah. just at the back. We were watching, like... we were rewatching Life Goes On whilst we were eating, and uh, I said to her, "We have to rewatch this. I have to show you something." She said, "What?" I was like, "Watch now." Whilst Sugar and J Hope are doing their bits, like, just watch V in the background, and he's doing this, and he's going like, and she <laughs> and she said to me, "She was like, what is he doing?" And I was like, "That's just so V." I was like, "V is just such a beautiful little weirdo, and he'll just always be doing his own little thing, and he's he's so quirky." And I was just like, "I was not surprised at all." I was like, "Yep, yeah, that's, that's just V, just doing his thing." So never rule anyone out, and keep your eye on everyone. And that's the beauty of obviously I once we introduce eyes. them, you can watch them over and over again. So that's it. But yeah. So it's my spin today. Yes. Mm. What are you gonna give us? Uh, I don't know. Let's go. Let's so do uh, the wheel. I feel like we should be in glitzy dresses, like Ooh. magicians' I assistants or something. I can't see if it's a dress, but it is. It is. J K. Sugar. 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 Ballads. Throwbacks. Live yeah. performance. Or all, all of them. <laughs> just yeah. Yeah, we yes, just yes, don't yes, need yes, any yes, more yes. of the solos than um, the others. Body no. rolls. Body <laughs> rolls. Ready. Life performance. Oh, oh, he's teasing life, me. Life performance. <laughs> so, life performance. Okay. Oh, there's so many to choose from, so it's really, really hard. And obviously, there's amazing comments coming in. The problem is, all of us army, we just, we just want to show you everything all at once. You know, we're really impatient, so it's, it's hard to choose. So. It's very much. You always say one. They're like, oh no, or this one. I know. Oh, no, or this. Literally, it's like, oh my god, or this, or this. Or this. There's so many. And it's that's so very special. The life performances. Oh uh, yeah, I think so because you get to see when they do an MV. Obviously, if something is out of place or someone needs to make a mistake, or which they very rarely do, but um, you can cut it, you can do it, and it's it's an experience visually that they've obviously created this video, they've edited it for the audience to be on a certain journey. But when you see the live performance, you see the choreo as a whole, and you just appreciate it in a different way because to do that non-stop in one go live as well as vocals it just just elevates your appreciation for their talent yeah. so i just think the live performances are 
And you see some just a testament to them in a live performance. Yeah, yeah, especially like with concerts and stuff like that. You do you get to see some of their personality when they're ad libbing and that. Even when they're doing dance routine and stuff, it's just the faces they sometimes pull. Yeah, that they maybe wouldn't do it in a video because mm-hmm. it has to be serious and fierce. That's but it. Yeah, they've just suddenly decided to go. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna choose one, and this was on the list anyway. But we had a really funny comment on the video um, and it made me be like oh my goodness oh, yeah. yes that performance wonderful um very good uh tomorrow someone said <laughs> jenny messaged us and um and she said uh, she said someone's message saying it was a comment can you yeah. yeah can you react to bts tomorrow live and she said are they asking us to go on to youtube <laughs> live tomorrow to react to bts or is there a song called tomorrow with a live performance and i was laughing i was like no there's a song called tomorrow <laughs> But I can totally see how yeah. you would not know how to take that. But yeah, we've got the live performance of a song called Tomorrow, which is uh, which is amazing. So Is gonna, it, I'm going to go with just from the title, is it like a hopeful song about your future? But this song, um, I just wanted to double check it from what I remember, because I've got so many BTS songs in my head. Yeah, Tomorrow is all about... Um, like an inner struggle um, of your journey. And so there's a lot of angst in this kind Ooh. of performance and there's a lot of push and pull and tension. Oh, and it's amazing. I like a bit of tension. Oh, I'm really like a bit of tension. Some wonderful dancing. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know. So we'll see. Body rolls. Body rolls aren't angst. I'm feeling more they like... They give me angst. feeling more like <laughs> dance battle, like, oh. But they give kind tension. Of thing. Tension. <laughs> we shall see. Do we know when the live performance was? It's from the 12th of... This This one is from the 12th of October, 2017, and it's on a an M Countdown music show. So right. this is 2017, so not too long ago. They're not... not they're old enough. Yeah, they're performing it later, which they <laughs> which we really enjoy, actually. Like, when, uh, when they... Obviously, they've got songs that they released, you know, which are the throwback uh, to category, but they do, like somebody said about, oh, watch a performance of them doing No More Dream Now. So they do, you know, sometimes yeah. they do bring back and perform the songs, even though it wasn't that released right then. Like Kat said, this was released 2014, but this performance that we're going to watch is from 2017. So it's cool when you get to see sometimes. And, and we know that obviously they were amazing from the start, but they're dancing and their vocals yeah. and everything's just got so much better as they go. So I imagine they're the people that would like tweak it. They'd be like, oh, we did it mm. then, but let's do what we did then, but better. Absolutely, very much, especially J Hope, because J Hope gets involved with the choreography. So he and and they are all of them are perfectionists. Um, so they will very much try and especially if they're doing when they did things for like the fifth muster and they were bringing back performances of their earlier songs, they were having to relearn the choreo that they did, but then try and make it better or perfect it or make sure they they didn't. They had to do justice to had to do it even yeah. better than what they did to start. Yeah, with, especially if you, know if you I mean. consider how can you outdo yourself when you were already so good? That you know. said that RM and Jin weren't the strongest dancers to start with. Mm-hmm. So you probably find J Hope's now thinking, I can add in stuff that maybe then mm-hmm. wouldn't have worked for them, but now yeah. they can. Or even if you yeah, if your eyes is drawn to RM or Jin, you'd you'd be like, Oh my gosh, I can see the progress. Yeah. And so. I think the attitude would have changed. Oh, for sure. From the No More Dream video when we said not only is it very American, but it's almost like we're we're BTS and we need to get ourselves noticed. And whereas now they can be mm, a bit more quite intense at the beginning. Yeah. We're yeah. BTS, and you all know it. The swag, <laughs> the swag, the owning it. Yeah, yeah for sure. Okay, oh, good. Oh, I'm excited. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and head over to Patreon for Patreon exclusives, extra stuff, all behind the scenes, all the uh, variety shows, all the reality shows, all of that over on. And so this is a live performance of Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Oh God, I've got that Annie song in my head. No, 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 no. no. As soon as I said the word, it's like, no, no. Don't you dare, don't you dare. Someone else say something, I cannot have that stuck in my head. Smell <laughs> shiny Ooh. shoes. Ooh. What were they? <laughs> You hear the fan chants, the fans shouting it back. It's so cool. They just pop up like that. Mm. <laughs> oh 
fucking paste. <laughs> We're saying every day's the same. Yeah. Like, you just repeat, repeat, repeat. Ooh, that deep V voice. Mm. Like they just get me, but they look wonderful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Those vocal runs. Red suit, straight out. Mm. Not really living, just pushing through. Good point. Mm. Oh, I remember looking at the camera like that. <laughs> it's another one of those that's quite laid back. Mm. Oh, the woman looked like she was going to fight. <laughs> we know, I girl. Feel you. We I feel, feel you. <laughs> hey, I'm not ruling that out when we see them live. They just all move so seamlessly. Mm. Where he just completely changed it from that deep part he was doing. Mm. Oh, it's, it's so it's pretty. Just, it's like oh, wow. Do you see why I picked this one? Yeah. And it's beautiful vocals as well, and, and the whole choreo. Yeah. I love how the whole se all seven of them move, yeah. I mean, this move is. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. How was that? JK in that video, it's like, I feel something in my chest. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm not in pain, <laughs> but I, do, I don't know what it is. Mm. They keep doing Maybe this. you were feeling is this angst. One, is this what love giving? feels like? <laughs> they keep doing this, they keep banging their heads up and just looking. Ooh. And I mean, I look like I'm having a bit of a stroke when I do that, but when they do it, <laughs> I mean like all of them, it's like the camera's just yeah. moving mm. up them and I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, they're wow. very mesmerising and charismatic, but... I like the song as well. It's one that you really just got lost in it, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, when was that Jenny got lost in a song that you'd be, like, cooking along to? That could be a <laughs> yeah. song, it's yeah. because it just, it slows nice flow. and you, you mm. can, you can get lost in it. Yeah. And you could have it on repeat and I feel like you wouldn't notice that it was just... You yeah. just travel yeah. along with it. I really like the message that it's about the angst of, of trying to find your way and in your journey. And I think a lot of us, especially in our teen years, we feel that we're like, every day is the same, spinning my wheels, where is this going? What's the point? But then at the same time, they, they put hopeful messages in there as well. J-Hope was saying, there's there's too much to look forward to, so don't close that door yet. Like, keep going. You know what I mean? And it's a message of strength, I think. I and liked something that RM said, and he said something about 
not, it was almost, I can't remember the exact lyrics, but it was the message of stop worrying about tomorrow because eventually that will be yesterday. Yeah, it's going to happen. You can't control yeah. it anyway. It's almost don't worry about these future things because one day it will be done anyway mm. and behind you so... Yeah. Whichever Con- way it goes. Concentrate on yeah. being strong now and, and living now and try and find happiness. And That's yeah. the thing I always say to people, whether it's a good or a bad situation, time will move exactly the same through it. Yeah. So... Um. You just have to know that eventually. Mm. Well, the thing. You can fear oh something God. and put it off and put it off because you fear it. And eventually you get to a point where it's not an option anymore because mm. it's way past you mm. and you've missed out. Time's a bit of a bitch because she mm. ain't going to stop for no one. So I really liked when the dance moves when they were saying about how the door opens and closes and they were they had the extra dancers coming and it was kind of like the tipping in, like you were stepping in and stepping yeah. out. Like that rocky back and forth. I thought it was the really dance lovely amazing. the way they... And they just, I didn't even notice where they came from. They were all just... Also seamless. They were just yeah. moved together, which is amazing. But the BTS so. always do that, even between the seven of them. Mm. Suddenly there's more of them. Like, oh, I think where, they hover. Where did they come from? I think they just hover but in. I think, no, mm. but sometimes they come from the back and you're like, I didn't see you go round there. Yeah. <laughs> which is a compliment to them and how they command the stage. Yeah. That, that The ones in front, are, you're so, keeping you so focused. Yeah. That suddenly there's more. Yeah. And where you were saying about the almost like having hints of almost like interpretive dance which is a really good point because throughout their career um bts do go into exploring more modern and interpretive dance um and so we'll get to see more of that eventually hopefully if we get black swan and performances where you get to see jimin's modern dance as well he's amazing oh you said I the other day you're like that. he moves like water he does. you have no idea he's amazing i like the dance move with the hands around here and they're all yeah yeah but did you see what i mean about the the tension and although yes we thirsty hoes and we you know we're drooling (laughs) anyway but it's actually a really really relevant dance move that push pull that tension i'm not just thirsty i'm dehydrated yeah (laughs) see that's that that's a dehydrated you do you get you do get the angst from it yeah that struggle which is amazing that's what i can feel in my chest you were feeling (laughs) because that could be a fast move but it's not a slow move it's just it I is don't know slow, how there's they so much tension in it. Move at that speed and put like I would have said about when they go from like really fast to really slow, but to do those like slower moves, but with so much control and mm. motion. Yeah, because very this good was dancers. A, a dance routine where not a lot of it was that kind of throw yourself into it hard dance moves that they mm. are so good at. But it was intense, yeah. wasn't it? It was slow but intense, and everyone looked. Um, like as in everyone performed it. I thought it was a really good performance that all of the rappers got their shine on, all of the vocalists, yeah. everyone looked amazing. And again, they always do, but you know, sometimes with line distribution, someone says, oh, you know, my favourite didn't get so much time. Well, I, yeah. I think everyone got their time there. I personally didn't miss anyone. I thought everyone was yeah. amazing, tip top. Well, things I've said in some videos that I felt that maybe I didn't see as much of sugar as I have in other videos, mm. but it doesn't make it less enjoyable. No, no. It just... Maybe yeah. like they worked it out and it just wasn't right for that particular yeah. song, but there'll be another song when she, that person does get more. I've never not liked a video because either so like J K or V wasn't mm. there yeah. as much. I just maybe I don't notice. I don't know. I'm just I, always, I only notice it on a like a well, happy whatever happens yeah. basically. Like yeah, yeah. Or it's because I just don't maybe connect with something as much in the song, so I'm not as mm. concerned. But. You made a really interesting point about you said um, you found it interesting how J-Hope switched up his voice. Yeah. Um, and we haven't yet gone into the rap line numbers, which are called the ciphers, which are amazing. Um, and they are amazing. Um, the thing that's so, so good with rappers and, and, and the rap line of BTS do it so, so well is they are very, very well aware that your voice as a rapper is an instrument just as much as it is when you're a singer. So um, they literally change their tone, change their flow, they hit high notes, they change their pace and everything. They're really, really good at that. So there's more examples yet to come where J-Hope will switch up his voice yeah, and like Sugar does that as well. He was singing and... in like a deep tone. Mm. And then when he started rapping, it was a higher tone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And depending on what they're going to say, if he's going to rap about something which is almost like happier, more positive, he were, it would be a different feeling. But yeah. when he wants to go deep and dark, which you said the other day, you're like, I'm not, I can't you know, I just, just can't I imagine can't. it. And I'm like, no, just wait, just wait. J-Hope can go dark if he wants to. Mm. He will. He can go, mm. So that was what I was doing when I got ready for bed last night. That's when we make up, do you, do you, do you, do you. Do you. <laughs> so that was BTS Tomorrow, live performance. I like that one. Mm. I can't do it as good as them, but I'm just yeah. feeling it. Be on your super plate. It's in my bones. I think it will. I think it will. Nice make it onto that. I will once steady, intense. Yeah, mm. once we've got a good lull, I'm going to start 
breaking it down into my sub playlist you're gonna have to then... publish you know you can publish playlists on spotify for people to find you're gonna oh, have yeah. to publish yeah. arian's well, we'll bts soup. soup playlist <laughs> the soup. and our 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 your patrons you know our, our, come, our come army to shops near will you, understand you dimple soup dimple. they're like you don't understand the soup playlist unless you watch my cup of tv <laughs> yes I will, I will start building the soup playlist <laughs> so thanks for watching and see you on the next one bye, bye.